What limit sweep? When we inject water into a reservoir to push the oil to the production well, the water isn't able to access or sweep all the rock in the reservoir. Sweep is used in the oil recovery calculation and is one of the smaller fractions. There are four behaviours that typically affect reservoir sweep, here illustrated by water. First, the permeability of rock in a reservoir is not uniform and water tends to flow through more permeable layers. It takes the path of least resistance and much of the subsequent water injected continues to flow through the same layer, which has already been swept of oil. Second, due to the water being heavier than the oil, it tends to slump down under the oil and break through to the production well at the base. The impact of layers and slumping influence the vertical sweep of the reservoir. Third, looking at it in plan view, the injected water tends to take the shortest path to the production well. Once it reaches the production well, subsequent injected water tends to follow the established path and has less inclination to spread out and only slowly expand sideways to sweep more rock. This can be further complicated by higher permeability channels in the rock, such as old riverbeds, where the water will naturally follow these in preference to sweeping the rest of the reservoir. The ability of the water to reach out horizontally is called aerial sweep. The total sweep of a reservoir is the percentage of volume filled with oil which has been contacted by the injected fluid in the connected segments. This is calculated by multiplying the vertical sweep by the aerial sweep. Horizontal gas injection is impacted by these effects even more than water. So, how is gas used in secondary oil recovery and what limits it? <laughs>